Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Zoe and thank you so much for watching. So today's video I thought I'd show you a couple of different outfits that could be worn to work for the week and these are outfits I actually did wear to work um, the week before lockdown. Um, I'm currently in Wales and we're on a two week lockdown so I haven't actually left the house this week for work. So yeah I thought it'd be fun to show you the pieces I wear to work and kind of ways to mix and match them and yeah I'll show you the um, outfits and the cutaways over that side and I'll talk you through each outfit now. So the first outfit is this um, lovely leopard print skirt. So if you've watched um, my H&M winter haul, I'll leave a link below, you'll see that some of the pieces in here are new pieces for this season and I've incorporated them into my working wardrobe. So yeah, this piece was one of the new pieces. It's this lovely leopard print skirt. It's um, got pleats all down it. It's a really great staple piece to have. Um, this is the print close-up, so it's quite a classy one and not kind of almost like a tacky leopard print. Um, I think this was like about £20, but I'll leave that video link below so you can shop any of them pieces that are still in stock. But I paired this for the first outfit with um, the black polo neck I have on, which is also H&M. Um, plain black ribbed polo neck is honestly such a key staple in your wardrobe. It'll go with so many outfits and I've used it for a couple in this one here. And then I paired it with my favourite H&M blazer. Oh my god, this video is not sponsored by H&M. It's just one of my favourite high street stores and I've shopped there for years. <laughs> um, so yeah, this blazer's H&M as well. It's got the gold double-breasted buttons on it and it's even got the the buttons on the cuffs here if that focuses there it gives me kind of the Balmain vibes without the price tag I'd absolutely love to own one of them in my collection one day but not for now but yeah I just think this is really classic this with a blazer plain black polo neck to keep it simple on the top half and then I paired it with this H&M quilted bag which I also picked up this year, um, so it's very Bottega Veneta vibes, which I absolutely love. This was about 17 99 and I believe it's back in stock, so I'll try and link it below for you. Um, just to mention, I styled this bag with all the outfits in this video, so I won't be repeating myself boring you with this one. But yeah, if you watch the video below, you'll see it in more detail. So with that first outfit, the black blazer and leopard print skirt with my black polo neck, I paired it with my Topshop trusty black ankle boots. These are a staple piece, I think they were about £70 about three, four, maybe even five years ago. They bring them out each season in kind of just like an updated style, so I'll link the newest um, version below, but these are a great piece to have. And yeah, I fancied wearing heels to work that day, so this was a great outfit to put together. So the next outfit then was um, a bit of a floral dress to throw in, a bit of a plain collection going on. So this dress I've had a couple of years, it's from the limited edition collection from Marks and Spencers. I absolutely love shopping in Marks and Spencers because some of the key pieces in there are such good quality, you can't beat them. But I think this dress is around 29 50 and that's actually full price. And it also comes with this like matching tie belt, but I really didn't like that. I tend not to use them. Um, so I paired it with um, oh, the belt I'm wearing now. So this brown one, which is from New Look, which I've literally worn with everything <laughs> this year. So yeah, this dress is just a really pretty floral design, giving me all the autumn winter colours, the khakis, the burgundies, the mustards, all my favourite kind of tones. Um, it's got an elasticated waist, which is where I belted it, just to give it some... Um, waist and at the bottom it tears down into kind of like this ruffle green hem which is really pretty and it's got um a paper bag collar some ties and yeah i really like this and the sleeves are them on trend balloon sleeves which i really like with a cuff obviously some of these items in this haul now are old items but I don't want to keep showing new items all the time, it's all about re-wearing pieces in your wardrobe and styling them up for the season um, that we're in currently. So I think this is a great piece. I again styled it with 
my favourite trench coat, which happens to be also from Marks and Spencer's, but the autograph collection. So this I think I picked up about, oh goodness, about two, three years ago. I absolutely love the colour on this. It's um, a great piece for each season, especially taking you from that transition from summer to winter when it's not like warm enough to wear like a really thick coat yet, but this is a great alternative. Um, this one's got all the detailing, the buckles, um, it comes with a tie belt and trench coat, like a trench coat is something that you need in your wardrobe as a staple piece. I'll also leave my link below for the video I did on all the staple pieces you should have in your autumn winter collection and this coat was featured. So yeah, um, trench coats are all the rage at the moment. I'll link a few of my favourites below but this one's staying with me. I absolutely love it and it just kind of pulls the outfit together and it looks great over my dress. I decided to pair that outfit then with a different pair of ankle boots. So these are my favourite burgundy ankle boots from Next. Um, if you didn't know, I used to work in Next Retail. I worked there for about eight years of my life and I got great discounts and great um, bargains in sales. So I think these were like £80 and I paid around £25 for them. Um, they're these gorgeous burgundy heel. They're quite high, they're not something I'd wear on a long day, but if I know I'm sitting down at a desk all day, you don't mind. Um, they're super comfy and over the, the years they've got more and more distressed and they look so much nicer, a bit like kind of worn. But I absolutely love these, they've got elasticate in them, so they're really super comfy. I just love the colour and they looked great and just wear it like a bit of a fun boot instead of going for black and it just kind of brought out that colour in the dress as well. So moving on to the next um, outfit is a pair of black skinny jeans. Um, I try, I, I'm kind of a bit of a sucker for living in dream, jeans all the time and I know it's really bad. I try to like mix it up now with like skirts and dresses but I love a pair of skinny jeans. So these pair I featured in my um, like staples video but these jeans honestly are one of the best brands I've ever bought. So these are actually from Bieber so that's the brand label here. You can get it in House of Fraser or online and these are actually the Stevie Skinny Jeans but they're super comfortable. They, I've had them for around a year now and they haven't stretched in any areas. They're still skin tight especially on the knees. There's nothing worse than skinny jeans going baggy on the knees and they honestly the colour has lasted really well and I wash these quite a bit to be honest probably a lot more than I should but the colour hasn't faded at all so I'm really impressed with these and I think I'm going to purchase them in a few other colours as well and I'm going to actually look to see if they've got like different fits as well because I really want like a pair of looser jeans as well so to pair up with the jeans I actually put one of my new H&M jumper tops on so this is really pretty jumper with some like crystal beads on if you can see them there they're super pretty and this looked great with the skinny jeans and then I decided to style it with one of my favourite blazers which again is from Marks and Spencers. This is actually from the limited collection. So it's this beautiful checkered blazer with um, the pinstripe detail down the side in this lovely cream and kind of peachy colour. I actually have the matching um, crop trousers for this which look great as a two-piece set in the summer with um, kind of like trainers instead for more of a relaxed vibe. But I really liked it dressed up with this one and I like the fact that in the video you could see the little sparkly buttons popping through and then because it was a cold day in work that day I decided to layer it with my favourite wool coat from H&M so I like layering stuff so this looks great I know it looks a lot and it's probably definitely kept me warm that day because it can be quite cold in my office so I really like the wool jumper with a blazer and the wool jacket on top and I think it just pulls the outfit all together when styled really nicely. This is the blazer on its own just for a closer up. I love this one it's great to throw on over things. Next up then is actually the outfit I'm wearing but in the cutaway I decided to style this skirt. Hang on, I think you've dropped. 
yeah so the next outfit then is actually the outfit I'm wearing apart from in the video I styled it with this black jumper instead of the mock neck although you could use either because they both go I decided to pair it with this one again with the crystal buttons which you've also seen in the cream version as well I just thought this looked really great with um, this skirt so this skirt is from H&M and it's like a crepe material with geometric prints over it and to cinch in the waist I just popped on my new look belt but I really like this all together and for the um, outfit I added my camel coat just to keep me nice and warm so it just looks really great style together and obviously it keeps you nice and cozy with that outfit then I styled it with my trusty Dr Martens which are honestly one of the best purchases I've made in a long time. I also styled the Dr Martens with the outfit previously, so the um, black skinny jeans with the jacket and cream jumper. But these are my favourite Dr Martens, they're the patent ones. I wanted the shiny ones because I just think they're a little bit more girly for me. And honestly, the whole like chunky trend boot that's going on right now, um, I've ordered a few and I had a few fails, which I'll leave in the video linked below, you'll have a laugh. Uh, honestly I don't know why I'm looking because these are just my staple kind of go-to flat boot for the winter and um, even the summer they're great styled with some like simple dresses and um, honestly they're so versatile if you don't own a pair I'd highly recommend investing in some. So then the next outfit would actually be the Friday outfit which is kind of more of a chilled relaxed Friday and I decided to go for more of a casual vibe so I decided to pair these amazing checkered um, cigarette pants from H&M so those are the colours in them here they're kind of like browns and mustards and creams I love these um, if I show you them in detail they've got these really nice frill detailing on the pocket so if you can see that down there they are super comfortable they're stretchy honestly they are so comfortable I think I bought these around two years ago but they're such a great staple to have in um, your wardrobe so I decided to pair this with the mock neck I've got on so this ribbed one if I come in closer you'll be able to see it's like a rib detail all over it I think it was only about 17 99 as well which was so cheap so I decided to pair these with this lovely um, plain black mock neck but then for a bit of fun I threw on my brand new jacket. If you watch my Tesco Florence and Fred haul you'll see that I bought um, this, I'll leave that linked below. But this um, jacket I picked up was only 25 99 and it's like that really really soft Borg material, can you see that? I love this. So I paired these together and I added on a bobble hat. This one is an old one from Hollister. I just like a plain black one with a bit of a faux fur bobble. And then to have more comfort on a Friday, I decided to pair it with my trusty Nike trainers. So these are the Air Force 270s, I believe, and they're just the black and white ones. So knit on the front and they've kind of got that like bubble on the heel they are so comfortable it's unbelievable um, so just a quick um, chat about the Nike trainers I only purchased these I think at the beginning of the year maybe January February time because I needed a new pair to go to the gym which is ironic because I haven't been back to the gym now since February because of lockdown but um, I'm really disappointed because if you look at the left foot Bear in mind the left foot is my smaller foot out of the two. Can you see that? That's my finger poking through. They've actually ripped and I'm so disappointed in that because I, I'm going to have to try and stitch them because you know these cost like £90 and I've had loads of Nike trainers in the past and I'm, I've never had much trouble before and these are like brand new if they were about two or three years old and I've worn them like to death then fair enough but honestly I'm really disappointed it won't stop me buying from Nikes because I do like the trainers and they're very um, like supportive and I like a good quality trainer especially when you're in the gym because you want your feet to be like protected but yeah I'm quite disappointed I um, don't know what to do about that I actually bought them off ASOS as well I don't know if I could like complain but I have worn them but not a horrendous amount of times like you can see the soles are like pretty much brand new 
so yeah just something to think about when you're picking up um trainers with like the knit fabric on them so that is everything for my kind of what I wore in a week video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know I said this week would be a haul. However, I am, I don't know, I'm a bit reluctant to buy so much at the moment because one, I'm not really inspired by anything online. Um, two, this whole lockdown's a bit crazy and I don't wanna be buying so much and like having to pack it up and return it. And three, I can't go anywhere to buy my new stuff uh, to wear my new stuff anyway so I think it would like upset me buying new clothes unless I just dressed up at home all week but yeah I just thought it'd be a fun way of showing you kind of like new pieces as well as older pieces in my wardrobe I think it's really important to like re-wear pieces you already have and honestly most of my clothes are so so old I just like re-wearing them and just styling them different ways with maybe new accessories like bags shoes hats sunglasses belts you can like reinvent an outfit just by changing like one simple accessory so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i promise there'll be a haul soon i'm thinking h&m because it's my favorite store so thank you so much for watching also don't forget to follow me over on instagram i'm planning like a whole new rebrand over on instagram i feel like my content's all over the place and i really want to build like a new aesthetic so i'm working on that behind the scenes however it is super duper hard to shoot content where i live in wales when one we're in lockdown and two it's absolutely been raining like every single day so can't even shoot outside and like there's nowhere in my house at the moment that I want to shoot um because not everything's finished as you know like I'm still waiting for a new door in here because this brown one's really ugly I want a new dressing table and a chair and I also want like um a chest of drawer unit in here so I'm just trying to work with what I've got in the space mm -hmm. And then I might be able to shoot um, content in this room finally. And also, the lighting is awful. It is so dark outside. It's only about two o'clock in the afternoon. And I had my ring light on. I've got the big light on, which, sorry, but the lighting's a bit dodgy. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next week. Bye.